Fiat Panda? Well, if you live in the United States, probably not, but it was huge in Europe, and it's back. Well, mostly, kind of back. The Cento Vente EV concept. Fiat's idea behind this vehicle is to give everyone, well, sort of a blank slate. You get this base vehicle, and then you can put all these different options on it. Bumpers, colors, kind of like your regular car, but kicked up to the nth degree. Now that also includes the battery pack. It comes with a 62 mile battery pack, but you can kick that up to 310 miles of range, which is pretty impressive. So you can decide, well, what kind of driver am I? Am I someone who just needs to do a few jaunts around town, or do I need to go a little bit further whenever I drive my car? With this vehicle, you can make the decisions within the same car and order it. Because of the many color aspects you can add to the vehicle, you can make it look, well, your own. You can change the body panels, the roof panel, even the bumper panel, you can change it to one of a couple different colors. And that's not all. Inside, you can change the seats, including adding a baby seat. Now, in this concept vehicle, they have a baby seat in the front as the passenger, which in the United States is a bit of a no-no. But if this vehicle ever does come to production and it ends up in the United States, you can expect to have that sort of modular seat system in the back. The customization doesn't stop at the seats. It includes a dashboard where there are a series of holes that allow you to, well, mount items to the holes. So you could put a speaker, put it in the holes. Maybe you get an iPhone holder, put it in the holes. A cup holder, put it in the holes. Maybe even an actual cup that fits into the holes. Maybe even like a GoPro camera. Keep an eye on all your friends. Do some of that karaoke stuff everyone loves. Anything you can think of, put it in the hole. <laughs> And the idea of a hard top version of this car just doesn't appeal to you. You can also get it with the top off. It's that customizable. You can pretty much make it anything you want as long as you're cool with the base of the vehicle. While the modular aspect of this vehicle really appeals to me and the size, it's not too big, but there's a lot of room for storage. The one thing I'm not keen on is the back displays. It has, you can do words, whatever. And Fiat says you can use it for advertising, which I really don't want my car to become a billboard, and also I don't want somebody reading something instead of stopping. I'm not too keen on the advertising aspect of the back. The front, the front looks great. Look at it, it looks like a stormtrooper from Star Wars. Who doesn't want a car that looks like it's from Star Wars? The biggest problem with the Cento Vente is we have no idea if and when it'll ever come to production. But when it does, it's sure to win over, well, artists, graphic designers, Really anyone who wants something that looks like their own and also kind of looks like a stormtrooper.